okay this is the software and first of all we need to set a new project so go to file menu or you can use this icon so file new then you need to set the unit for this case i am setting meter kilogram second sorry millimeter ton second degree celsius and okay so first step you need to set the unit okay second step import your geometry for that file import and show your part this will be your part part 001.stp and if you are creating if you have saved your part as dot prt just from the cryo output uh, it won't be listed here because it will list uh, the neutral data exchange format for example stp prt sorry not prt igs stp these kinds of algora uh, and dwg on the ground but normally we will stick on this stp because that is the quality of this stp output is more so select this part 001.stp and press okay and this is your imported part you just inspect that and next you want we need to create the mesh because the idea of finite element is that finite element analysis we will divide this, the whole geometry into Then the next one, uh, we will assign boundary conditions to these pieces. For example, this case, to create the mesh, there is an option mesh. Go to open this mesh and create mesh. And this is our mesh. And the second thing you can see, a lot of things came. The first one, material sections, constraints, these things are there. And the material represents a material property. Because we are going to do an analysis, we need to represent the material property. Very important for the security of the people, the department of material property. And that is given in the property. If you open the property, you can see the important thing, you can see the same thing, something, 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 and the same thing. And those are the same thing. So next, uh, we need to give the boundary condition. Sorry, material property. So double click the material, or you can select the material from here. Material property in Adkam, or you can click on the material model. Sorry, material library. Materials are given. For some materials, I need to find that. That is not Adkam. 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 So we can directly open this property, material, and create, and this will be the window. And you need to create the elastic property. So double click this elastic and give material property. Uh, what is that? Atreya, what is the value of this material? Young's modulus value? No, no, no. That is in PSI. This is in MPA. So 206. Or all, or all. 84. 3. Megapascal. So we need to give E6. E6 means uh, into 10 raised to 6. That is not in Excel anangilum, Google Sheet anangilum, Google anangilum. If you write E6, it will automatically take us into 10 raised to 6. Okay. Then next one, poison ratio. What is the poison ratio value? 0.3. So it's given. Press OK. So the material is created. We need to create a section because some of the the shapes will be heterogeneous and some will be homogeneous. So we need to assign what kind of section it is required. And some sections are 
section could be solid section, some section could be plain section. So, either section and learn and the material assign to the arena. So, we need to create a section. So, click on this section, then select the part. So, select this part option and select the part. And you need to give the material here, material one, or if you want, you can change this material name. Okay. Then press OK. Now it is assigned. That is the material, the created material is assigned to the body. The next one, we need to create the analysis type. So, what kind of analysis we are going to do? Here it is a static structural analysis. Static, it means we are going to do some analysis. So, we select the static step. And press OK. So the next one will be what is the what are the boundary conditions? Because where the picture supports are there, where the load is active. This information we need to give. So when the question you can understand all the sides are fixed. So boundary conditions, click on the boundary condition and create and select the fixed support. Okay. And select edges and press shift button for multi selection not control control alert shift on it and select the edges and press ok so all the sides were fixed fixed support means uh, no translatory motions and no rotary motions it's just like a clamp you know well the other you know all the concept okay the next one we need to give uh, a load at this center so load option is there or you can select from here analysis in and can I edka alangil evidin the loads edka then a concentrated force edka because that is what is given in the question and uh, click on this more because we need to give the give at the center point so center point means it's easier to give it give it on a node so click more and you can you will be provided with the additional selection option and from this select node and select the sender node and give values f1 means uh, uh, the load in x axis f2 in y axis f3 in z axis so this case you need to give in the f3 or f1 or f2 sare kanandengil coordinate system endu kaanan kittu f3 f3 engena vena positive or negative negative so negative what is that value Negative given four 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 eight something four four point two Newton. Okay, so we can see the force is acting the pictorial representation. The force is acting downward direction. So it's correct. Then go for analysis, right click and run. So it will solve the problem and go for results. And you can see this is the maximum deformation, total deformation, and the maximum value shown in, shown in red color. And this is the stresses. This is actually equivalent stress. Uh, it's actually an average stress. Like normal stress, shear stress, like that. The failure of the So this case it is 0.1421 MBA. What is the strength of this material? It will be 265 megapascal. So this is 15. Let's run megapascal on the point one four two one megapascal. Suppose it is one megapascal how will it be? So the size of S2 will be and it's a small load that's why okay so do it 